it's that time. Now that we have all five crest, to go visit the wizard Wubis. Rubis, R-U-B-I-S-S. -S -S. What the heck, seriously? Also, I leveled up. Yes. And I'm playing new spells for my mages. Lots of hit points and magic points for everybody. Except Magma. He still don't guess it magic. Nope. Oh yeah, enough for strength of shield as well. Shield of strength, I should say. What is wrong with me? A lot of things are wrong with me. Including defeat and sacrifice. And then there's revive. We've been needing a revive spell for a long time. And if I had my items ready like I should, I could tell you what levels I earned them at. Defeat. Yes, at level 23, the Prince of Kanak can beat any one group. Providing the spell works. Takes four magic points. Insta kill, yes, worth it, not really. Enemy spark gonna become more magic resistant. And why am I going this way? Why, besides getting a wheat leaf of the world tree, which you should do fre quite frequently, is we need to find Rubus in the sea. It's not in a very convenient place, I'll tell you that. Also gives me a chance to explain my other spells. Yes, the princess at level 19 learned a new attack spell. Explode it. Explode it? You'll see it in action soon. 8 magic points. You'll be amazed at the damage. Oh yes, the leaf of the world tree. You can only take one now. Now let's talk more about the princess. At level 23, she learns the spell of open. For two magic points per cast, you can learn open any door in the game. Wait, wait, wait. Open doors? Yep, that's why I'm going to throw away all these keys and free up the inventory space. That's wonderful. Now I can get more medical herbs are useless items. Don't throw away that item mouth or off foot, though. That'd be a bad idea. And since I have all five crests, I can get rid of the echoing flute as well. A few extra items always helps, though. Oh yes, one more thing about the princess. At level 25, she learns a weird spell called Chance. For 15 magic points, I know, that's expensive. You can do something weird. It might be a enhanced effect of what you already can do, or it might be something totally random. Or it might involve ghost mice. Oh yes, more magic spells. At level 28, our friend Numor learns Sacrifice. For one magic point, he can lose his life. What? But defeat almost any enemy in the game. And that's almost all the new spells. Oh yeah, new more at level 23. Let me double check that. 25. Learn Revive for 15 magic points per cast. What's this? A literally small monolith? Right here? Yes, look at Austin Fair. Then go two or three spaces to the west, then go straight north. Or go straight north from the end of the fire monolith. That's the best way I can describe how to get to it. And all these stairs building up the suspense. Oh, yeah, the princess learns step guard. Level 21. I know kind of silly. Seeking is silly. Check this place out. Oh dear. I think God is calling to me. 
Nope, it's our friend Rubis. Indeed, if you go here beforehand, nothing will happen. So yes, now that we have the blessing of the Rubis, something special will happen later on. But for right now, nothing really happened. So, taking our magic boat with us, it's time to return. Back to Baron. Our Buran. And once again, go to Rome. But first there's a stupid cave we gotta navigate through. Let's go ahead and do that now. I'm in one of those moods. Oh dear. Illy! I've lost my Jailer's key. Can you open this door? Ille! I lost my electric stepping boots. Could you cast Step Guard for me? I really should have bought some other items, including Dragon's Bane. That would have actually helped out. One dose for everybody, at least. For some of the enemies we meet, we'll be quite deadly. So once again, we, here we are in Rome. Of uh, the cave to Rome. We got a life crest previously from the basement of the horrible, horrible horks. Also, if you have additional funds, buy additional strength dust shields. I forgot to get one for Magma. The spell of Shield of Urgic will suffice for now. Oh dear. Oh, Hork. I am probably slightly over leveled for this, but as a precautionary step. And me forgetting which way to go. We must continue. I believe it's down here. Hug this wall to get through. Oh dear. Dark eyes. Eyes that don't see me. I'm gonna run away. Let's get you some beautiful stats on those beautiful dark eyes. Well, I realize I went in the wrong place again. Oh yes. Dark eyes. Up to 61 hit points. Meh experience. They can do that nasty jig and put you to sleep. Plus they give you a special item if you're lucky enough with a treasure chest. Or should I say unlucky enough. Let's try this one more time. Now that I'm on the proper staircase. and Numor is no longer PO'd, we can hug this wall to get to get to this staircase. Apparently you have to fall down at least once. Now this is a little fun way to get totally lost and confused. This place can loop if you go the wrong way too many times. So take Magma's friendly tips. Three in one. Go this way three times. One, two, and three. Three intersections. And then to go north once. There's your staircase. You might find another staircase, but if it doesn't if it doesn't look sore like this, it's probably the wrong staircase. Now here's another fun level, but at least it's not as bad as the horrible horks. Let me look at my maps real fast here. 
Thank you once again, Mike's RPG Center. You make my life somewhat bearable. And by life, I mean surviving this place. Hmm, several directions I could go. Aha, uh -huh, let's go southeast first. And get some more delicious treasure. Is all treasure truly delicious? There's only one way to find out. Take a bite. If your feet, teeth don't fall out, then it might be delicious. Furthermore, going up here might reveal something nice. Nice being a relative term, because it's a lottery ticket. Yay, I can get those from certain random monsters. Or I could just buy my way and buy and sell a whole bunch of medical herbs. But here's where I really want to go, at least once. And a little intersection later, I get to a treasure chest. Oh my! It's a berserker and green dragons! These dragons are actually a little pumped up. So let's go ahead and do some new things, including that spell defeat. It probably will not work, but hey, it's worth a try. And that beautiful new spell exploded, which does a tremendous amount of damage. Somewhere between 55 and 80. And yes, the dragons still do flames. They're kind of nasty flames, though. Uh oh, I seem to be low on health. Numor should use his shield of strength and power up. Oh dear, the effect of a strong heal more for free? Everyone should get one of those shields. Seriously, use it as an item. But they can only use it on themselves. And speaking of which, that's a lot of experience. Oh my, it's the Sword of Destruction! <laughs> you veterans know I got about to do something stupid. Magma 2 was cursed, but look at that attack power! It's insane! It's also cursed. What do you mean cursed, Magma? What is the Sword of Destruction? It's supposed to cause chaos. See, that's at least 10 more than I usually get. Speaking of something that's not cursed, is the final piece of Urgic, his armor. It cannot be removed due to the curse. One second who, when I, while I find out who has that freaking... Here we go, let's equip Magma. I didn't even try to unequip it, jerk. A small increase, but more importantly is the effect. Or the affect. Depends on how you want it. Get on me politically correct with your grammar and such. It'll protect me from swamps and barriers. But I already have a step guard. That effect is kind of useless at this point. Oh well. Continuing on. Back up the way we came. This, there's one more very valuable item in here. What would be nice is a new weapon. But I already have a new weapon. No, I mean a non-cursed new weapon. Oh dear, it's the Orc King. One of many Orc Kings. Seriously. I believe he has around 100 hit points here. Let me double check my stats. Oh yes, I should probably give you some more stats later on. 
have some previous fights. The Orc King. He's purplicious. He can have up to 107 hit points. But he's pretty good experience in gold. Over 100. On each. Other than that, he could cast heal more, making him a pain in the keister. Green Dragon. He seems to have evolved. He has 80 hit points now. But he gives you a whopping 350 experience points. Decent amount of gold over 100. But yeah, Green Dragons can be nasty, even if their hit points are low. And well, you know about Berserkers already. But just in case you don't remember, only 71 hit points. About 117 experience. Good experience. What would be a great experience if you join me in my next video. Starting from this central hub, I'm going to get another item. What could it be?